Yeah, we got on the bus. Okay. She going on too, where is I'm she? going home. Bye, Lexi. She on there somewhere. Hey guys, good morning. So, whew, today is another day. <laughs> So last night, you guys, we had Lexi's choir concert in Chicago. So um, she drove here. Oh my gosh, yesterday was such a crazy day. So she drove here from DeKalb, which is like two hours away. And um, she brought three of her friends with her and they all went to church. We all went to church together. So that was really, really nice. However, it was a struggle for her to get to church. Her car started um, like shaking on her or something. So she pulled over. Well, I had told one of the greeters at church to um, give Lexi something because I had to go and go in service because she wasn't coming yet. I'm like, where is Lexi at? Well, when I went outside, I got a text message. No, I saw that I had a missed call from Lexi. So I was like, okay, what's going on? Because I already talked to her. She said she'll be at church in like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. She wasn't here. So I thought I had missed calls. So I had left out a service to go check on her. And one of the greeters was like, um, what did she say? She said, Lexi got pulled over. And I'm like, huh? And she said, yeah, her, she's on the phone with her dad. And I was like, what happened? So he went out, he was talking to her. He was like, he got in my car and he was like, well, I'm going to go check on them. And I'm like, what is going on? So all the service, I'm like sitting there worried, worried, worried. I thought she got pulled over by the police. And I'm like, what was she doing? Like, what's going on? Anyway, no, it was her car that was giving her trouble. And she uh, pulled over and some people were helping her out, helping her and the girls. There's some really good people in the world. <laughs> You know, because you see four young college girls, some people don't have the best interests in mind all the time, but yeah, there were some people who um, helped her out, and I guess one of them was a car mechanic or something, so he gave her the information, so they were going to get her car fixed and all that, y'all. When it rains, it pours. But anyway, so I had to pull all the girls in my car, and um, Jay took his car as well. And then we drove, after our service, we drove to Chicago so she can go to her choir concert. So that's what you guys just saw. I added some clips from her choir concert. Also had one live on my page. So a lot of my friends got to see it last night. And yeah, it was a really, really great choir concert. I thought she did an excellent job. Um, she got to lead a song. She also sung on the praise team. That was the first little clip with like five of them that was singing. That was the praise team. So she got to sing on that. And she sung in a choir. And she got to lead. Yeah, that was it. I'm like, she got to do another thing. She got to lead a song. And, you know, so she was like, Mom, I think I messed up. I was like, girl, you sounded good. Everything was beautiful. Y'all harmony was great. You know, it was a really, really great time. And so I really enjoyed it. You know, because last year she joined a choir and she couldn't really stay in it the whole semester for 2020 because of COVID. She ended up coming home early um, last year. And she really loved the choir and she missed it a lot. Um, and then this year she was able to, with the first concert they had, they did it live stream. So we didn't attend that one. So this was the first one that we could actually attend. So you guys, I feel like I'm a freshman mom all over again, even though she's a sophomore, because I missed so much of her year last year because of COVID. So anyway, um, it was a great time. It was a really good night. And she, I'm so glad I got to see her. <laughs> and she just got on a bus and went back to the school. All the girls, they had room on a bus for them since she had drove here previously. So, yeah, she went back um, to school last night. And we FaceTimed last night like we didn't just see each other. <laughs> her and the girls, they got in another one of their friends' cars and they ended up going to Walmart and they was going shopping. And they were like... What do you use for stuffed bell peppers? And I'm like, oh my gosh, y'all finna cook this late? But I guess they was trying to cook for tomorrow or something. But anyway, I am getting ready to go to breakfast with my friend. She just called me and invited me to breakfast. She's treating me today. So I'm getting ready to go to breakfast. And um, I have to go to work too. I might try to run into home goods again. Because when I was there the other day, there was this vase I saw. I kept looking at it. 
and I did not get it. You know how it is when you see something, you know you should have got it, but you don't, and then you regret it. Yeah, that's me. So I'm praying that this vase is still there. It was so cute, you guys. So I'm going to run back to Home Goods and probably grab that, and then I have to go to work. And that's pretty much it for today. I don't really have anything on my agenda, but I just wanted to show you guys the choir concert and all of that. So if anything else happens, I will let you guys know. See you at breakfast. <laughs> I love these trees. It's a nice little park that we come to. Just wanted to show you guys the view. Isn't it pretty? Okay guys, so I'm getting ready to fix a dinner for them tonight. Um, the earlier staff took out some chicken wings because one of the clients requests for some fried chicken wings and macaroni and cheese. So yeah, that's what they're gonna have for dinner tonight and I'm just going to fry that up for them real quick. And after that, we're gonna watch a movie because it is really chilly today. And that's pretty much it we're gonna, uh, that's pretty much all we're gonna do because tomorrow they're going to have a fun day um, out in the community. So I will be working, so I will show you that. Mm -hmm. 